Now, many argue that we would better serve our country's energy needs by concentrating on energy efficiency. And no one is more on the forefront of energy conservation than an Oklahoman that it's often referred to as the godfather of heat pumps. Here's our Jessica Lowe. Now, no matter how hot the summer months or how cold the upcoming winter months, one thing is for sure, monthly electric bills show just how pricey cooling and heating your home can be. But there's an Oklahoma man who says there's a cheaper, more energy efficient way to do what the conventional heating and air conditioners now do. All it takes is an old school technology and good old Mother Earth. It's a technology that's over a hundred years old. You put the pipe in the ground, it's full of water, the earth is warm, that heat is, is uh, conducted into the water and then we bring that by the heat pump and remove the heat from it. In the summertime we do just the opposite. We take the heat that's in the house, we put it in the water, circulate that water underground and because the earth is cooler it makes the system more efficient. Jim Bose is with the International Ground Source Heat Pump Association at Oklahoma State University and says getting more homes and businesses to use ground source heat pumps would conserve energy and save dollars. All you need is this pump. It's just simple. And people say, well, this is a brand new technology. And I say, well, it might be brand new to you, but the first person to, uh, to use a refrigeration system for heating was in about 1856. And the heat pump not only cools and heats space in homes and buildings, it also functions as a hot water heater. So we do all three functions. The heat pump has a hot area, or what we call the condenser, and a cold area, which we call the evaporator. So if we want to heat a building, we, we use the energy that's available from the uh, condenser, and we use that in the home. If we want to cool the home, we use the thermal energy that's been removed from the circulating fluid, and that will be cold, and that's how we cool the house. And it's a process that really works. So why more homes and businesses aren't using them? Well, according to Jim, fear. I think what, what scares most people is it, it is different. Uh, it, it's change. I mean, most of us don't like change. Then the other thing is you have the infrastructure that exists now. People that can put in gas furnaces, uh, electric air conditioners, and that sort of thing. Their dad did that. Their dad taught them. They know how to do a good job. They do good work. Uh, but what we've got to do is we've got to transition a few of those people into technology that will save us 30% of our natural resources. It's so good right now that you get about a 30% uh, return on your investment, and the investment portion of it is the additional cost that you would have to pay over a, a conventional heating and air conditioning system that you would install. And this old technology has quite an economic impact. It's local labor, it's jobs, it's in every county in Oklahoma, it's every state in the United States, and it's around the world. So, you know, the economic impact is all those jobs that are created. Which is why the Oklahoma Department of Career Tech is working to expand heating and air training. There's entire um, housing developments that are based upon, they're selling based upon the geothermal or the ground source heat pump uh, installed in the house. It's, a, it's an energy source that is prevalent out there and we need to tap into that. So that's something that the uh, career tech system is really trying to, uh, we're trying to evolve and teach that. Bringing past technology into our changing future. Now there are currently more than 750,000 heat pump installations in the U.S. And Oklahoma is a proud leader in the nationwide effort to increase the use of heat pump systems through the Ground Source Heat Pump Association. Now, if you want to learn more about opportunities in the heat and air industry, you can head over to our website and click on this week's value-added segment.